Hello everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we have a new feature called Silverwing Literature. So as you can see, I have upgraded a little bit into this feature. I have upgraded some books, unlocked some stuff, and we're gonna talk a bit about it. So, first things first, the resonance. So after you complete fully uh, the books, uh, a specified amount of them, you are unlocking a specific buff for all of your units, similar to that of, say, Armory. So this one increases all units' attack and HP, and then the next one increases all units' attack and HP in more percentages, and damage dealt to commander units by all units by 20%. Excuse me, um... What I do think this is, it's pretty much just heroes. I don't think there are any other commander things like generals, maybe. Maybe this is a bad translation and it should have been heroes. Because other than that, I really don't know what is a commander on our field. So specifically, I just assume this is heroes. Now... I'm not entirely sure how strong this buff is or how it affects. I didn't really test before and after. I didn't really have anyone to test it with. But assumingly, uh, if it works uh, well, this 20% maybe should be good, maybe not. But these attack increases for heroes are actually broken. And we will talk about that as well. So as you go further, you get uh, damage, more attack rather, uh, more damage to dragons, accuracy, crit damage for 30 seconds, enemies take 30% damage, and then shield and more disarm. And this one is actually pretty good, because um, if you have heroes hitting, say, gladiators, or if it's like burst versus burst, that shit is actually gonna be annoying. Like, many of your casters and maybe heroes will have to have, like, that minus 30% debuff thing or, or whatever, because I think this one will actually be pretty, pretty friggin' cruel uh, if one of your main mages will actually be getting it uh, from a burst versus burst gladiator or such. Aside from that, from upgrading the books, you are getting buffs right here, which also, as I said before, for heroes, the attack value is insane increase. But as you can see, we get magic damage, we get physical damage, and we get like overall attack for all units, so even more stuff for the heroes. I mean, sure, we get HP and attack for dragons, army, but it's not that useful as for heroes. And then we have another one. So I, what I kind of assume, one of them is just like this buff right here, just unlocking that stuff. This is like the new harmony or, or whatever it was called. And these ones are just added to the other thing. So uh, this one is just for unlocking the book. And this one is for the stats while you're just trying to uh, break through the books. So what I mean is when we have a book, I think quite a few people know it. You click study and you click on these things. So I'm pretty close into breaking through this one on the third page as well. So uh, let's talk from the beginning. So you have to upgrade this one and then you have to here. These ones are pretty cheap and I would suggest for people to upgrade both of them. I think you only need one but it says accelerate the airship exploration by 5%. It's incredibly beneficial for you to upgrade both of these, regardless of what many would say. We can just go into the airship and check it. So we click explore, we go on to any stage, and we find a stage that has 9 hours, or should have, and it literally removed about 50 minutes of the exploration. And if you time them properly, like for example, for me, it's going to be 7 a.m., then it's going to be like, what, 3 p.m., and then it's going to be like 11 p.m., I think. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's going to be like that. So, for me, it's actually pretty good because for majority of the time, the timers on this will actually be pretty good. Then after a few of them, a few attempts, I will just do like, I don't know, 
um one one hour 50 maybe then like five hours of some others which grant purple materials and then again return to eight hours for pretty good times and instead of you know worrying too much for majority of like the workday or so so for me this particular update 10 out of 10 uh i would just max those books um you know just for the airship feature as it will be granting a lot more materials for you if you do manage that feature properly. So, aside from that, we have three books to upgrade on the floor three. The reason why I skip this one is because this in the middle one grants hero stats, all heroes attack by 8%, and this one grants the army stuff, uh, all army attack 8%. This one, of course, grants dragon stats. The thing is, Dragon uh, increases in evade chance, doesn't matter. Dragon increases in attack, doesn't matter. Dragon doesn't do damage. Evade chance, you're not gonna dodge 500% accuracy archers. Heroes already have like 250, maybe 300. So you're not gonna dodge heroes as well. So just increasing attack for dragons, pretty pretty awful and pretty bad. Eventually, you're gonna want to max it because it will cost a lot less resources for the resonance. But until you don't really need it for a breakthrough, uh, you might as well just skip it and focus other stuff in terms of buffing your heroes or your army. So the next best thing I did was focus heroes further. The reason for that is uh, let's just go on to the heroes. <clears throat> so... My Avril was, I think, 36 million attack, maybe 37, I'm not entirely sure. And as you can see what the feature has done, it literally increased like 20 million attack or so just for my Valerie. So the increase is actually pretty friggin' insane. I'm not entirely sure how well it kind of transfers into the fight. But from what I have noticed, the fights are less likely to become draws, at least at the moment. Uh, excuse me, I still have a little bit of a cold. Uh, the fights are less likely to become draws, and even the stall sides are falling a lot quicker now. I'm not entirely sure on burst versus burst, because it's dependent on a lot more things. But I had less issues actually passing human front lines. But that's as well, they were adjusting the values of Sormen. Perhaps they also adjust their resistances or something like that. Pretty hard to say. So after the update, I actually started beating stall sides a lot quicker, a lot better. And I didn't really do that many attempts as well. Because the only thing I wanted to do was reach like 4,440 or 50 just to get the uh, Saber uh, Lion or, or whatever, oh, what's it called? The Thunder Lion rather, because I had it before so I wanted it again and I did manage to get that. So, in terms of how this feature is, uh, I think at the moment we're not really gonna get a lot of materials from this. So this will be a pretty slow increase, probably until Lucky Wheel, where we will get a ton of this stuff. And then the next month, we're going to get a lot more stuff on this feature, and we're going to upgrade it quite a bit. So until then, for the most part, many people shouldn't worry too much. And at the same time, we have also something which is like a special book, like relics or whatever. We are able to get the resources from it and actually upgrade it. Now, this one in particular is what people said might actually uh, counter this resistance meta. Because all units decrease enemies resistance by 40% with attacks. Now, this can actually mean it may stack separately. So if it's all units, if a dragon hits somebody, it's 40%. If an army, it's additional 40%. If heroes, additional 40%. Or if it's the same exact buff and it doesn't change from unit to unit, it's only 40%. And that 40% may not mean anything. But that also depends on whether or not it removes like true stats or... Uh, closer to true stats or semi-true stats or just basic 
and if it's basic it likely is not gonna do an incredible amount so it really depends i'm not really sure but we actually got a decent amount of these books uh, how do i exit this uh, we got a decent amount of these books uh, and we're actually gonna be able to open this special book probably in a month's time and what do i mean by got a lot of these books so you can actually buy them from the temple or rather the new materials you get two of these books i think per month then you can also buy these new materials right here daily so you should remember that you can actually buy them from here every single day and we have also a new event right here uh, i believe it's this one so as you can see i completely maxed it on day one and i received all of the rewards and we got all of these custom boxes so i think i got like 24 yeah 24 so i need 36 more to actually activate it but you know 24 and then we get two of them per day is actually like insanely good because we get this one right here and we get the next one on the airship feature so also we need to remember to collect them uh, i think it's on 80 or 40 it's on 40 so yeah you get this one right here as well so two per day um in less than a month like maybe two weeks we're going to be able to unlock the special one. And that's, again, depending whether or not they're going to add it to the newer events coming up, like Forest Claim, perhaps Dice, perhaps something else. But yeah, honestly, the feature seems broken. Like, uh, imagine uh, the cosmic badges for your army. Basically, they did the exact same thing to heroes from here. Now, the... Uh, say units in terms of dragon uh, their dragon got like friggin 3 million 3.5 million attack as well i think so even the dragon gets affected by a lot of attack uh the lich mages i also went back to them though i don't have cosmic on them at the moment but i think my spiders went from 100 and 88 million to like 207 or from 190 to 207 so they still increased in army as well but it's not as much as heroes in terms of the values and stuff like that so pretty much this new feature literally mainly affects the heroes and the dragon and very very slightly affects the army so if you're choosing the books uh, number one, I would suggest you choose the hero books first, wherever they buff your heroes. After that, it depends. Uh, I would kind of suggest still going for the army because at the moment, from making this video, the dragon doesn't really do damage. I mean, who knows? If we upgrade this feature very high, the dragon will have like 30 million attack and then the dragon will actually start blasting stuff. I don't really know, but I probably suspect that eventually the dragon will start blasting stuff um, after this feature is upgraded. So, who knows? For now, uh, dragon stuff I would likely leave to the side and upgrade first heroes, then army, and then uh, I think the fourth book, if you're gonna have a choice, it will be all units. Let me just check it quickly because I think I remember that. So tech tracing uh free training uh, hp of all units attack of all units so the fourth book affects everything so suggestion heroes army everything or heroes everything and then army and then of course uh move to the next one or if it says like four copies then you probably return to the older one because it's a lot easier to actually open and then you go into the new book and when you finish three in here you likely just finish one of these or, or whatever i'm not entirely sure but probably that is what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna keep skipping one of those books just so i would upgrade the better stuff which would have more value but yeah that's pretty much it honestly a pretty simple feature in terms of what they had before like anima like uh friggin armory or, or stuff like that not that many choices and you can just straight up upgrade 
anything uh, and you don't have really choices that would actually say mess your account over if you fail at this particular thing so you know a, a pretty simple feature you just either spend money or upgrade and you get all of the stats that you require without any specific choices that might eventually a mess account over pretty good pretty easy not much time wasted pretty much would like to see majority of the newer features in a similar manner uh, where we don't really require to spend a huge amount of time to upgrade this upgrade way that they have again 10 out of 10 pretty goddamn sweet and they should uh start doing stuff like this or similar and it's also actually pretty good like the feature itself looks pretty friggin' amazing with the color scheme as well as the effects. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. In return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.